Good morning. Welcome to our Collision Children's Message. Let me straighten out this a little bit here. Um, it is Sunday, uh, March 20, what is it, 20, 28th. Uh, gosh, it's the last Sunday of March already, young people. This this year's flown by. Three months gone already. Wow. Uh, we're hoping to be able to start meeting soon uh, with with collision on Sundays. And if that's the case, then you young people will have a chance to go to back to your classes with your friends and and learn God from your from your Sunday teachers. Uh, but in the meantime, all we've got are these videos to to rely on. Good morning, Grace. Uh, I, I trust maybe Manny and Ray are with you. I hope they are. Uh, so anyway, God has a message for us. So let me, let me open with a prayer. Father, I pray that you would speak to your young people. Amen. We're in 3 John. Let's see what it says. It says this, Demetrius is well spoken of by everyone and even by the truth itself. We also speak well of him. And you know that our testimony is true. John is saying about this, this man, Demetrius says, we, we speak well about him. People speak well. Do people speak well about you? Do, 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 would, would, how would you like it if your name was in here? And it says, Liz, Liz, everyone speaks highly about you. Julie, everyone speaks highly about you. Manny, everyone speaks highly about you. Ray, everyone speaks highly about you. Sammy, everyone speaks highly about you. Xavier, everyone speaks highly about you. <coughs> Aiden, <coughs> Abby, everyone speaks highly about you. Isaac, Lucas, everyone speaks highly about you. Wouldn't you love to hear that? I, I hope you do. I, oh. If if people say if if people were to say Jim everyone speaks highly of you that that is so that is a, so important so important uh, I hope that it's important to you <clears throat> young people if I ask people that know you best that know you the best okay young people your parents your family even your youth leaders uh, wh what would they say about you. What do you think they would say? That those that know you best, what would what do you think they would say? Would they speak highly of you? L listen to this. Demetrius is well spoken of by everyone. Well, what would your people know you best say that about you? Oh, I hope so. Uh, or the next question is, do you even care? Do you even care what other, I hear people say it all the time, I don't care what other people say about me. It doesn't make any difference to me. But it shouldn't be that way. Why? Because God cares. God cares about what others think of you. You need to care about what others think about you. You need to live a life where, where people speak highly of you. Uh, that's why Jesus said we're to be a light to the world. You can't be a light to the world if people don't respect you, don't look up to you. They're, they're all, you're only going to be a light in this world if people if people sp speak highly of you. Nobody wants to listen to someone that they don't respect. D do you do do you listen to people in your life that you don't respect? No, no, I bet not, but I bet you you listen to the people in your life that they do respect. Yes, they're here with me. All right, Manny Ray. God, I want God to, I, so I want so much for people to speak highly of you two young boys. And and I want you to know that they do. I want you to know that they, I, I have, th this is hard to believe, but I have never heard anyone yet, no one yet, say anything bad about you two. Isn't that unbelievable? I have not heard, any, including your own mom, <laughs> I haven't heard anyone speak badly about you two. That's commendable. That is commendable. Uh, <clears throat> Proverbs is called the, the book of wisdom. You all know what that means. We've talked about it many times in the youth groups. <clears throat> wisdom is the ability to make the best decisions possible. And, and that's what Proverbs is, is, is all about. And so let's take a look at a few things here in Proverbs. It says, it says this in Proverbs 
uh, oh, I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm, Proverbs 3, 3 and 4 says this. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and people. So let love and faithfulness never leave you. Now, that word love, as we know, is, is, is agape. Giving, expecting nothing in return. Giving unconditionally. So let that never leave you. And then faithfulness. Faithfulness is continuing, to, continuing on even when it gets hard. Manny Ray, you've, you've stayed faithful about a whole year since we've met. And you've stayed faithful. To these, to these video messages. It says, let that never leave you. Because if, if, if you hold on to those two things, it says, God will speak highly about you and people will speak highly about you. I speak highly about you because of that. It's important. It's important to God. And it's important to, to, to people. In Proverbs 22.1, it says, it's a good name. A good name is more desirable than great riches. Wow. A good name, uh, to God, a good name is everything. Having a good name is everything. Uh, you, you, may, you could have a lot of money and not be respected by people and be lonely. And I know you're young, but I know people. I know people that have a lot of money but they don't, there's no agape, there's no love. They don't, they don't help people with it. They don't do good things with it. And they're, and they're, and they're not happy. They have all this wealth and they're not, they're, they have millions of dollars, millions of people, and they're not happy. They have no joy in their life. People do not speak highly of them. In fact, opposite, they speak badly about them. They speak about how selfish they are, how they don't do anything to help other people. So you could have all kinds of wealth and not be happy, not be content. What, what, what's going to make you what, what's going to make you happy and give you joy is when people speak highly of you, when God speaks highly of you. Then, then you'll have meaning in your life, and and that's what. Paul said, that's what John said here, that Demetrius had. And, and, I, and I hope that, that, that you have that. And, and God, has given, God has given you plenty of opportunities to gain that good name. He's given you all, he gives us, he gives us chances all the time. All the time we have decisions to make. And, and the wrong decision can give us a bad name. And the right decision gives us a good name. The bad decision can put us, in, uh, put us away from God. And the right decision can bring us closer to God. So we make, the, we make those kind of decisions all day long. Make the right decisions. And Philippians 2.22 says this. Let me find but you know that Timothy has proven himself because he is a son with his there because as a son with his father he has served with me in the work of the gospel. Paul is saying, Timothy, Timothy was a young man. And Paul said, He has proven himself to me because he has stayed loyal to me. He never quit. He never quit. He he kept on keeping. Paul kept on going, and Timothy kept going right along with it, along his side. And, I, th and that's what I appreciate about many of you. I have kept going. I have kept going through this pandemic now for over a year, never giving up on you, doing these children's messages on Sundays every Sunday, doing the impact video every Tuesday, doing the crash video every Wednesday. I never gave up on you, and you never gave up on me. You stayed loyal to me, just like... Paul said, just like Timothy, or, or Timothy said, just, Paul says, just like Timothy stayed loyal to him. You stayed loyal to me. Oh, that means so much to me. That means so much to me. Uh, you know, you, you're not an elder or anything yet in the church, but maybe one day you will. And, and, it, and God says this, uh, that 
that a requirement, this is a requirement of someone and that they must have a good reputation with outsiders so that they will not fall into disgrace. And then, uh, uh, someone that's a leader in the church has to have a good reputation, not just with the people in the church, but people outside, people that don't know the Lord, the outsiders, the unsaved, the unbelievers. Well, we're to have a good name among them also. Why? Because God wants to reach those people. You can't reach those people if they don't respect you, if they don't look up to you, if you don't have a good name among them. Collision has been blessed. Collision has been blessed by having over 200 people give their life to the Lord over the 10 years that we met at, at Palms. Over 200 people gave, many of you young people, many of you young people gave your life to the Lord. That didn't happen. That wouldn't have happened if you didn't respect those of us in, in the in the group. You, you, you were attracted to the group because because we we had a good reputation with you, and now God wants that same thing from you. He wants you now to have a good name, a good reputation with those that with your friends that don't know Jesus, so that. So that if you if they respect you, if they listen to you, then you can invite them to the youth group and they may come. They will never come if they don't respect you. But if they do respect you, then there's a chance that we can get them to start coming to the youth group when we start meeting again. And and when we do meet again, I mean, I want to close with this now, okay? Uh, collision. So a lot of the people, a lot of your the adults now, your parents have been saying, gosh, let's just meet. Let's just meet in the park. We want to get together. But I am committed to starting out the first week with a with with a with a bang. Good morning, Veronica. I, I trust that maybe the girls are with you, Liz, Julissa. Julissa. Uh, I, I want to start out like with a bang so that when new people come, there's incredible energy there. And I want that same thing when we start back with impact and crash, and when we start back with with meeting on Sunday mornings. I, I want you to come on Sunday morning excited. When we get back together again, I want you to come with your mom and your dad excited, excited to be there, excited to see others there. And if it's just a low turnout, then it loses its its, its excitement. But if you come. And everybody's there, and there's new people there. That creates incredible energy. And that's what we want when we get back together again. Amen? Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying loyal. I appreciate you, young people. God knows I can't wait till we get back together again. I cannot wait, and I hope that's the same thing for you too. Let me close with a prayer. Father, thank you for these young people. God, hold them in your arms till we get back together again and then bring them back with incredible excitement and enthusiasm. Amen. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great Sunday. Have a great weekend. Share this if it meant something to you. And then I'll see you Tuesday night at Impact. God bless you all.